going because every time you potty train a puppy, it can be a little bit of a different process. Um, first of all, I want to talk about uh, making sure that you clean out the route that you're going to be taking to the door at 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, I about killed myself last night because I left toys all out that she was playing with and uh, yeah, about broke my ankle. So just word of the wise from my own experience, pick up your toys on the path to the door because you're making a quick, quick, you know, exit out of the house. Um, the other thing is, is to be very quick. <laughs> um, we did have an accident. We are not without um, our trials is I took one second too long to try and get Deuce out of the way and as we were getting out the door, I was trying to fiddle with the lock to get unlocked and she beat. So it's going as quick as possible and knowing that you can't always get there quite um, as quick as you'd like, but to try is the important part. Um, the one thing I wanted to also talk about is water intake. Um, I have taken water away from puppies at night and I've also not. Uh, with Hazy, I am trying to take water. I, well, I do take her water away at night. She seems to be very thirsty and going and getting water on our potty breaks when she wakes up. So um, I might put her water back in as she learns how to manage the whole process. But the big thing is, is when you do take water away, make sure the heat isn't on in that room. These guys run hot. Um, and so you don't want them to be warm and not have water. So you gotta kind of work with them in that way. Uh, making sure that they're comfortable. Um, I do I do recommend that um, you use a crate when you're potty training so your dog, your puppy is contained and they're in a place where you can hear them generally in your bedroom or right next to it because she's indicating to me already which is fantastic. She whines when she has to go out. Um, it's about every two hours which just note to self, for every month your puppy is old, she's two months old, she can hold it for an hour. So she's going about every two hours at night. I'm hoping to extend that out as she gets a little bit older um, and learns the process that I'm coming in um, when she needs to go. So uh, it's the crate is new to her, potty training is new to her, so it's all brand new. So I know that there's kind of room for, for growth for her. Um, the the other thing that was encouraging to me is we did have an accident this morning i didn't get to her as quickly i heard her whine i put down my hair dryer well i didn't have my hair dryer i had, was in the bathroom getting ready put down that and i got her outside and then i looked to my left and she peed so we're working on our timing but that was encouraging to me because she'd peed by the door so i know she's getting it i'm being consistent I have the same route out of my house. So it's the same door, same place for pottying. So everything is consistent. When I say consistent, everything stays consistent. You go to the same door, you have the same route, same place you're pottying. And so it's easy. The dog knows where to go. And if you have a house that has stairs or it's a long way to get to that area, maybe keeping that puppy closer to that uh, exit area while you're potty training might make it easier for you. Uh, some houses are are easier to train with a puppy than others and so make you know working your way um, through that and, and making it easier for your puppy is is what I'm trying to communicate because it will go faster and you will get this process done the more consistent and easy it is for your puppy to navigate so she knows that door to potty and she's had both of her accidents right there which is new it's not anywhere else in the house so she's getting it we're just not quite there yet which I don't expect to be. Um, just remember accidents do happen and um, that you're making progress if they are closer to where you want them to be, but also to know that the frame of mind I have when potty training and an accident happens is that it was my fault. It was my fault that something happened because I didn't get to her on time and I, didn't, I wasn't right there with her, so she had too much freedom, so she was able to go without me being there with her or I wasn't fast enough. So I take it on me is that she's trying to do her best. I just need to be faster and quicker and we'll at, one, at some point here in the near future, we'll get on the same page. Um, bells on the door are a good thing for potty training. They help a puppy learn how to indicate they need to go. They don't train a puppy how to potty outside. That's your job. But what they do is they do teach them how to 
tell you they need to go. So once they learn that outside is where they potty, when they to tell you that they need to potty, bells can help. I've not I've not used them because I my dogs a pretty small house, so it's easy for them to go to the door, and I generally can see them. Um, I wanted to talk about a little bit about the noise I make when I do see an accident. When a puppy makes an accident, if I come up on like this morning when I see the accident after I after she's already outside, it's too late. I can't do anything about it. So there's nothing I can say to her, do to her besides get her outside and she, in case she has to pee more. I missed that boat. That was my fault. If I catch her in the act, this is the noise I make. Ah! Just the it's a, a loud it causes them to stop. It's a ah, stop it, stop it, stop it. And I pick up my puppy and we go outside. So that's it. And we pick up, and so I'm teaching her, no, we don't do that in here, we do that outside. That's all I do. There's nothing else I can do besides pick her up, get her outside, and no, I need to be faster and more on it. So I use that word, or I use that sound. I use it for a lot of things, like if she picks up something she doesn't, um, I don't want her to have, but I use it for when they're pottying. Uh, in the house inappropriately, I do the ah, and we run outside as quick as possible. So hopefully um, that will help. I'll update probably in a week, uh, maybe maybe sooner. Uh, hopefully we'll make continue to make some good progress as we keep going in our crate training and our potty training. Um, but happy training, know that they're doing their best and the number one thing is being consistent. So. Please feel free to ask questions. Please subscribe. I'll be doing some more videos on puppy rearing, training, bite inhibition, all that such a sort of thing. Holler if you have any questions and uh, look forward to, to chatting more. Take so care. I'm gonna show you a video of what it looks like from my perspective with potty training. Here she is at the back door. So I'm gonna take her out and Deuce will probably follow. So let's go potty, Hazy. So she follow us outside. Come on, kiddo. Where'd you go? There you go. So a lot of times she'll follow me or the other dog. So she's taking the stairs easily. Go potty. Go potty. Good girl. Good girl, Hazy. Good potty. Good potty. Yay. Good girl. Give her a treat. Lots of praise. So she knows where her spot is right out here by the door. It's really simple for her to get to. She knows it's time to go. And now she can relax and since it's daytime she can go play and she can hang out outside with her dad but I say potty 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 when she's going but otherwise I don't say it a lot because it doesn't mean anything and it's a command to actually do something so I want her to actually do the action so there it is in a nutshell she knew to go by the back door when she needed to go we went straight down and we went straight to her place to potty and now we're gonna chase her tail huh Get your tail. All right, take care everyone.